Let's you were it. at Coxswain in college, and I got to know, is that easily the best job in sports? Because what I'm seeing, for those that don't know, and I'll send Jeff a picture that he could put on there. A Coxswain, you're basically in the, the giant canoe boat or whatever, and you're the dude yelling at people? Yes, you are actually exactly right. I was the uh, coxswain for the women's lightweight eight at St. Joe's when I was in college. And uh, it, it is a good job. However, the tradition is, is when you w- win a race, the coxswain gets thrown into the river. I've been thrown into both the Potomac River and the Schuylkill River in PA based on winds that we had. So, yes, it's fun. But, however, when you're rowing in November or October and you're thrown into a river, it's a little chilly. Yes, great time. But, yeah. So, yes, I was. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely out. And how, how, how do you pronounce it? It's not Coxswain. Co- it's it's, co- it's, co- it's Coxswain. Yeah, it's a oh. Coxswain. Well, that, they got to get. It basically steer the boat. You steer the boat by just yelling. No, actually, there's actually you control the oars. There's two there's two little strings that you turn, and the slightest adjustment moves you one way or the other. Seriously? Yeah, it's no, it's it's not as easy as yeah. Seriously, you have to you have to take into account the the current of the the current of the river you're rowing on plus the rowers. There's eight in the boat, or I was coxing on an eight, so there was eight in the boat. So if you had power on one side and not the other, if it wasn't equal in power. The boat could move and you would have to compensate for that with moving the rudder and the wind and any debris 